You want red, you want blue. So these are our babies. We finally got the trifecta. So we have our first Model S. This is our staple that everybody knows us for. Um, we have my Model 3. And then we just bought a Model X a couple weeks yes. ago. So my car is kind of like the experimental stepchild. So this is actually on air suspension. Um, the Model S wow. and the Model X have a less dramatic version where you guys can yeah. put it in high mode yeah. or low mode. Model 3s don't come with that. So I made I made it come with that. Oh my god, so, it's beautiful. Uh, she has the unplugged performance front bumper, um, which of course we've custom wrapped. She has a custom color. This is actually a color that we put a satin laminate over top of. Oh my goodness. She's got window tint. She's lowered on air suspension. She has Boss and wheels. My Boss favorite wheels. part of the car. We got rid of the ugly gray and we put in the black Alcantara. What was that? Yeah. Oh, so nice. we got rid of the gray, so it's got all black up Yeah. Okay. So I fell in love with the white interior, but didn't want the white seats. Um, we have kids. I'm not as brave as Mike, who got a Model X with all white seats. So we put custom white in there for the door panel. So I have I the like white. It. It's yeah. like then I've got your regular spondily. Mm -hmm. um, we actually got rid of the rear key and put the Tesla logo, so I thought that looked a little bit cleaner. Um, got rid of all the other bags in the car. I love it. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I, oh, let's turn the those off. Thank you for that though. So I chose airlift performance from a management system. It's what I've had on all of my other cars that I've uh, bagged in the past. And then we have AirTech struts because they're the only company that makes them for my car right now that uh, didn't take months and months and months of waiting. Okay. So if all you do is you get in the car, and you can press the button and the car raises. Right. Ta-da. Oh my god. So that's my ride height. So I can tell where my uh, my presets are at. So I actually have it set to where if I wake the car up and I get in my car, it will automatically rise for me because it thinks I'm going to drive away. So I don't really need to usually worry about this. That's so um, cool. Yeah. And then when I get to wherever I'm going, I straighten out the wheels and I lower it and it goes right back down. Awesome. So the system is actually in the trunk. All of our other clients oh have God. had us put it in the front. I enjoy my front um, and I want it to be a little bit different. So we took the regular piece from Tesla, custom cut, made it into a little window. So I have my air tank. I'm so impressed there. right yeah. now. I, I'm What's sorry, that? I'm like literally blown yeah. away. This is that? the mechanism that mm -hmm. helps the car to go up yep. and down. Did you see how she just did it earlier? Well, yeah. this is what does that. So we have your two compressors that fill the tank. It air really, really yep. strong. And then we have our airlift performance management system and that decides where all the air is going and how I control if it's going up or down. It isn't just yep. awesome, but I mean, this is beautiful. So the cool thing about owning a shop like this is everyone else has done it in the front. We weren't the first people to bag a car um, because I had to wait for my performance spray. Yeah. Um, we are the only people that have done it in the trunk. So we had to completely Beautiful. teach ourselves how to do this. Um, Ron, who's bagged cars for us in the past, had to reteach himself completely new. Okay. It is completely different. Um, a pain in the butt, but to me, I like this look a little totally bit better. Worth it. And I can use my trunk and I can use my whole trunk. And this is your newest yes. addition so to the family. Our model um, this is beautiful. So she is completely wrapped in paint protection film, and then she's got Mike's signature graphics on the side. I love um, that. We divided it with a thin blue line. He really wanted to showcase everything that we could do to the car. Um, and if you see the way that all of our cars are beating up, this is coating. She has lowering links and lowering brackets from Unplugged Performance um, to make her a little bit lower. She's not in the low setting right now, though. And then the entire interior is ceramic coated as well because it has white seats and we were a little bit worried about it. Um, you can ceramic coat white seats? Yep, okay. so you can ceramic coat fibers because it impregnates the fibers and it, okay. it basically makes it so everything just slides right Would off the Would you mind top. if I touch it? Yeah. I just want to see if there's a change to the feeling. And I love this, by the way. This little detail right here, I think it's really nice because it makes the handle seem as if it's thinner, more delicate. Anybody's really concerned about having white seats, they can always get them ceramic coated. Get them ceramic coated, yep. And how long yeah. does it last? Um, so it depends on how heavy you are. If you have kids, I would say redo it every about three years. Okay. Um, if you're only getting it in the driver's seat, you could just have the driver's seat recoated. So if you want to show in there, you can't tell any difference. 
let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah. Oh, no, absolutely yeah. no difference. No difference. Oh. <laughs> so we even do your carpets, we do all the plastic, we do the whole dash. My goodness. Everything is coated. Okay, how yeah. much is it? To, um, to do the entire interior is six ninety nine. Okay. Yeah. And then the Model S, that this is the car we've had the longest. Now um, it was wrapped differently when we yes, were it was. Very was. different. It was. So this is the car that put Mike on the map. He has two different wheels on it. He's got a body kit on it, uh, a front lip on it, custom wheels, custom calipers. By the way, all of our calipers are custom painted by us. Really? So like mine are the performance wheels. Um, I wanted them to be orange to match my car, so I painted them orange. The, uh, this one's blue, but these have been like a million different colors. We were at a car show the other day and I had my windows down. So Mike was in front of me and Ron was driving the Model S behind me. Yeah. So I hear the Model X go and then this guy says, oh look, there's the other half to the car that was behind me. It was so funny. You can really see it's like two pieces that can fit together. Yeah. So we like to park them the other way usually. Yeah. So that it, it literally, it finishes the car off. So my car is kind of like the experimental stepchild. 